At this university, they have two applications period, one starting in fall and the other one starting in spring. All right, so the one starting in, in fall, the application for fall semester is processed from January 1st. Admission process will take about six to eight weeks for you to get an admission if you have all the necessary requirements listed on the website. Here you have bachelor's courses, in different um, programs. You have medicine, dental medicine, and veterinary medicine, and then the other ones you can find there. You have the application deadline for each of the course, February 15 for sports science, February 15 for mental, dental medicine. That's for bachelor's, February 15 for other courses that you can have there. And then for master's program, you have some courses there, non-medical study programs. Application deadline is um, April 30, for people that will be submitting late, that's for people that are applying from Europe, we have application deadline for August 31st. This is because people in Europe do not have to um, apply for visa, all right? So for international students, you have your deadline April 30 for pharmaceutical sciences and social anthropology with special areas crew, right? So if you're applying for medicine, dental medicine, and veterinary medicine on the master's program, your application deadline is February 15 as an international student. Application is done usually online. So this is the official website for University of Bern there in Switzerland. So you can peruse this uh, website at your free time. And they have some bachelor degree programs here. You scroll down, you have archaeology, history, biology, classic, ed science, economics, education, French linguistics and literature, geography, history, Islamic Middle Eastern studies, law, linguistics, medicine, mathematics, philosophy, physics, psychology, and then the other courses you can find here. Moving on to master's degree programs here, you have some courses, Asian Judaism, archaeology, art history, bioinformatics, engineering, biomedical sciences, business administration, law, chemistry, climate science, computer science, dental medicine, ecology, economics, education, French linguistic, German, and then other courses you can find here. They also have doctoral programs here, and you can also browse them, some of those programs at your free time. So the University of Bern has some scholarships you can actually benefit from. You have Swiss Study Foundation Scholarship, Scholarships Canton of Bern, Swiss Government's Excellence Scholarship, Education Swiss SEMP, some of them are Erasmus programs. You also have Barrow Foundation, Fulbright Scholarship, SEMP, Swiss Universities, Mobility Grants, Austrian Database for Scholarship and Research Grants is another place to visit to find out more information about scholarships you can have at University of Bern. And so when looking for a scholarship, make sure to also consult with your professor of your department and faculty for more options since new or temporary possibilities for funding may suddenly arise. So it means that every year or two years, um, you, they have more opportunities for scholarships, especially for people in Switzerland and then people outside. So for doctoral programs that have scholarship, you have some of them here, brain and behavioral sciences, interdisciplinary sports science, public administration, classical studies, digital humanities, brain and Basel penal law, network theology. So some of those courses actually have scholarship or funding attached to it when you apply for PhD or under any of those programs. The tuition fee per semester at this university is 750 CHF, that is the Switzerland France, okay, that's the Swiss France, 750 per semester, not up to what you can pay in Canada, UK, Australia, or not any other country you wish to immigrate to. Also, there are other information you have here. And how then do we make application? If you like to study at the University of Bern, we expect you on an application. We did the registration deadline. We have shown that as well. It says you need to go directly to the application portal, application for admission to study at the University of Bern. All right, so we'll click on that and just change it to English up here. And then it automatically changes to English. So you can read through. It says creates new. All right, create a new registration by entering a free chosen password or continue your registration with registration number and password. So if you're applying for the first time and you have checked that they have your course of study, all right, you can input your details here, the semester you're applying to, applying to spring semester or fall semester as it is, we're applying to fall semester. Then you enter your password, the password you need to put in, it says it, ha it has to be eight characters so that you can assert your data again at a later date. So you put in your password here, you confirm the password and you click on further and it takes you to other 
procedure that you need to follow. You can also receive an email, all right, showing you links or further procedures that you need to follow with regards to your application. Application fee is 100 CHF as at the time of this video. You cannot work while you move to Switzerland to study as an international student until after six months for you to settle in into the country. How then do you survive through the handwork you have learned? You learn so many jobs, just be handy so that you can be able to do one or two things to make hands meet and then survive while you study in Switzerland. And so you have further information with regards to the amount of accommodation, health, medical insurance, food per month, public transport per month, cost material. It might not be up to this if you're frugal enough with your living expenses. Found this video useful? Please click on the like button, share with your family and friends, subscribe if you're new here, and turn on your post notification to be the first to know when I upload useful content with regards to how to make your application. If you have more questions you can put in a comment section i will respond at my free time thanks for watching and see you in my next video